when we perform statistical analysis, we look at our information in terms of variables. We, all, we always need the information about the type of variable before performing statistical analyses. Along with that, another very important information that's required is at what measurement scale we have observed our variable. First of all, we, we want to know what, what does it mean by measurement. Measurement is defined as assignment of numbers to the objects or events according to a set of rules. The set of rule is a very significant part of this definition. These rules are used to categorize or to quantify our variables. There are four different scales of measurement depending upon the type of variable. It could be nominal, it could be ordinal, it could be ratio, it could be interval. Keeping in mind, nominal and ordinal measurement scales are for qualitative variables, for categorical variables, whereas ratio and interval measures are for quantitative variables. All these four scales should follow one or more of the four properties of measurement. The first property of measurement is identity. That each and every individual value is unique and it has a meaning behind it. And that meaning is a unique meaning. The second property is magnitude. That values have ordered relationship to one another. Like when we say the relationship between a numeric value 2 and 1, then we already know that 2 is greater than 1, or 1 is lesser than 2. So the numeric value that's been assigned carries some measurement magnitude. Then there is equal interval. That units along the scale are equal to one another. Like, if you move from 2 to 4, and 4 to 6. There are two intervals. The first interval is 2 to 4, which is of 2 units, and the other interval is 4 to 6, which again are 2 units. This interval should be the same when we talk about equal intervals. And the fourth property is a minimum value of 0. 0 plays a very important role in making a measurement that zero has some significant meaning. And below zero, there is nothing. No value occurs below it. The first type of measurement scale that is inherently for qualitative variables is a nominal scale of measurement. Nominal scale of measurement, as by its name, it is name only. These are just the labels. As we already know, that qualitative variables carries certain categories. Each category can be assigned with some numeric number. That number does not contain any magnitude. These are just the names. Like in, in a football team. You will see different players are assigned different numbers. These numbers do not refer towards the performance or the ranking of a player. These are just the names. If this is a situation, a variable is called a nominal scale variable. For a nominal scale variable, each category is mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. That one is a unique number, two is a unique number. And they cannot mix and match. Similar way, they do not have any ordering in the values, since these are just the names. And they only satisfies the first property of measurement, that is identity. Nominal variable 
have just few descriptive categories that do not reflect any amount attached to it. And these are, they, there is no inherent value with respect to its magnitude. Let's take a few examples. Like gender. We classify gender as male and female. This is a nominal variable where we assign number one for a male and number two for a female. One does not mean that male are inferior to females, but one and two only represents the names, the categories. Similarly, in the form of fruits, apple gets a number one, orange two, and tomato three. One, two, and three are just assigned values, which are just represents the type of fruit. So if we are performing an analysis and we get a type of fruit and we see three written there, it definitely means we are referring towards tomato. This doesn't have any ranking criteria or order in the values. Color of eye, it could be blue, which can be represented as one, green, red, or hazel. These could be assigned any number along with them. But these number, again, do not represent any magnitude of information. The other type of variable are ordinal scale. Ordinal scale does classify our variable into categories. And these categories are also mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. Inherently, ordinal variables carries the characteristics of nominal scale variables. But the difference between nominal scale and ordinal scale is that in ordinal scale, our categories have certain order. These can be ranked. Therefore, they carry some magnitude and they, they satisfy two properties of measurement, its identity and magnitude of our variable. When magnitude between two categories that does not necessarily have to be equal. Similar way, these numbers which are assigned have certain meaningful order. And each individual category has a unique meaning and magnitude and which is represented by its rank. Few examples of ordinal scale are height of different family members from shorter to taller. Where a son is the shortest and the father in a family is the tallest. Similarly, stages of cancer. That when it's a stage zero, it is early form. Stage one is localized. Stage two is early locally advanced. Stage three, late locally advanced. And stage four, metastatized. Giving stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four definitely tells us the risk that's involved. But here, between these categories, we can't say that the gap between distance between stage one and stage two is the same as stage two and stage three. That could be different. This is just an order. But order does not contain any significant weightage. In the third scale of measurement is interval scale. The interval scale, unlike nominal and ordinal scale, is a truly a quantitative scale. Interval scale variables inherent the qualities of nominal and ordinal scale. And moreover, they contain, they satisfy the third property of measurement, which is inter equal intervals. Interval scale variable has arbitrary zero point. That whenever a value turn out to be zero, it doesn't mean the usual way we take zero value like in temperature. When the temperature is zero, it does not mean that heat has vanished. Heat is still there, but it just we can't feel it. Similarly, IQ. When IQ level of a person is zero, it doesn't mean the person doesn't have a brain or doesn't have a capacity to think. Sometimes the attitude scale is also considered as interval scale. 